were just so clumsy at times. They could have been icky, but they were funny. I'm a fun friend, pal. <laughs> Why did we break up? Our relationship ended because just kind of became like two roommates living together. The romance died slightly. Yeah, that's pretty fair, actually. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. What could I have done differently? I honestly don't know if there's anything that you could have done differently. The cards that we were handed were difficult, so I don't know if this was always what we were destined for. I agree. I don't think I could have done much differently. I think it was like ex more external factors that affected us as opposed to it being me. So yeah, I, I agree again. What could you have done differently? I maybe could have been less aggy when it came to housework and realised that he, it was a guy that had just moved out and he didn't know how to do washings, he didn't know how to do cleaning, neither did I, but I should have maybe just been a bit more patient. Patience is not my strongest point. Yeah, I agree. She needed to give me more time because I came up with some great solutions like hoovering the worktop after dinner. That is um, a genius idea. So yeah, I agree. What was my funniest moment? <laughs> Your funniest moments? They were like borderline icky, but because I was so into this relationship, I found them funny. So stuff that would have been an ick on the first date, like you're tripping over a suitcase because you're just clumsy. You were just so clumsy at times. They could have been icky, but they were funny. That doesn't fill me with confidence that in three years, there was one time I made a laugh. But I remember that actually, I tripped over the suitcases in Amsterdam. Yeah, it was an ick. She turned to me and told me as well. Yeah, it didn't feel good. What was my most embarrassing moment? Do you know what's really annoying? You never had any embarrassing moments. You just were a kind of cool, calm, collected guy at all times. I tend to wear a lot of those embarrassing moments. I actually think of myself as cool, calm and collected. However, there was one moment where there was a girl and she'd asked for a photo and I assumed she meant with both Paige and I. Uh, but she didn't, she handed me the phone and got me to take a photo of them too. So I would say, yeah, that was my, that was my worst one. What was my worst habit? Finn, your worst habit was laziness. You were lazy around the house, you were lazy in love at times. You could just be a bit of a lazy geezer. Right, I'm lazy around the house, but lazy in love, I'm not. But yeah, I was very, very lazy when it comes to housework. What was my best trait? Your best trait was your kindness. You had such a big heart. I like that one. No, that one's nice. I agree, that is my best trait. And then she broke it. What was the thing you loved about me most? The thing I loved most about you was your heart. You're so kind. You've got so much patience for everybody. A lot more than I have. <laughs> Again, she loved my heart and then she went and broke it, which uh, isn't the nicest. What was the best date we ever had? The best date that we ever had? Oh, a lot of our dates just consisted of food and alcohol, to be honest. The ones that I can remember were lovely, but I mean, probably the best ones I cannot remember. <laughs> yeah, too right. If you can remember the date, it weren't a good enough one. How did I upset you the most? Again, annoyingly, you weren't a guy who upset me much. You would probably upset me more for not upsetting me. Does that sound weird? So sometimes I felt like I annoyed her most when I didn't argue back and I was just cool with not speaking for a couple of hours. That really got to her. But yeah, no, that's nice. At least I didn't uh, upset her too much. What's your favourite memory from our relationship? My favourite memory from our relationship has got to be when we met on the show and we went on our final date. It was a rowing boat. It was something so simple, but looking back now, we just didn't know what was to come. And it, we were so naive and so young. I would love to go back to that moment. Yeah, that's nice, I would agree. When you're at the start of something that you didn't know would end up how it ended up, that's, I think, the, the beautiful moment. So yeah, no, I agree with that. If you could have changed one thing about our relationship, what would it be? If I could have changed one thing about a relationship, it would have been spending more time, taking more quality time. Yeah, I agree with that. We come out of Love Island. So from the day, first day I met Paige, we shared the same bed. Come out, we done lockdown together, then moved out into our flat. So I feel like we didn't ever really get a honeymoon period or anything like that. So yeah, maybe the quality time together and taking an initiative to put one day aside for a date night or an activity or something would have been good. What advice would you give me for future relationships? For your future relationship, I would say be strong. Take charge sometimes. Be a man at times. You know, don't be scared to take the lead and be confident in who you are. 
So yeah, confidence is big. I feel like where I'm quite laid back, I was really chilled with allowing it to be what it wanted to be. Maybe I did need to step up a little bit. So maybe this whole laid back thing for me, I need to change. Could we be friends? Yes, we can absolutely be friends. I'm a fun friend, pal. <laughs> so that's quite a nice one because obviously over the three years, you gain a best friend as well as a girlfriend. So just because the romance has stopped, it doesn't mean that the friendship needs to stop. So yeah, no, I'm happy with that.